Hello legends and a big warm welcome back to the Wealth Yogi channel. Seb Williams joining you here today. And in this video, we're going to be talking about exactly how you can go out there and start attracting more clients online with more speed, ease and pleasure than maybe ever before. But before we dive into the good stuff, we've got the show reel. So let's hit it. Now, whether you're new to business or maybe you've been in business a while, I'm sure we can all agree upon one thing, and that is that having more clients, generating more clients, is a crucial element of actually having a business. You need a revenue, otherwise you essentially just have a hobby. If you have a business without income, and that's nothing to say against the people that I knew that you started out, you haven't got your first clients yet. But up until that point, it isn't technically what we would call a business. Now, some people might listen to that and think, oh, that's a little bit harsh. Other people might think I absolutely agree. But after having spent years in our own businesses and teaching hundreds of other people how to start their own businesses, we have really come to the understanding that it is when you start generating revenue that the game changes for you. And then the question becomes, once you understand that game, once you're in that, in the field, playing this, this client getting this revenue generating thing, this, this game, this life of business, the question then becomes, well, okay, I understand the process of how to do it once, how can I do it again? And how can I scale this process to generate not only more income, but more impact? Because if you're anything like us, maybe a conscious creator, a conscious business owner, you're playing this game not only to generate money, but to generate impact to be able to help people with your message, with your service, with your product. And that really is the goal. But the byproduct of that is, of course, making money at the same time. The two really do go hand in hand. You can't really have one without the other. But a question that a lot of people ask us is, how do I generate more clients? Or quite often the question is, how do I generate my first client. So in today's video, I want to break this down for you. I want to share with you the, the, the one method, the one most simple thing that has really led people from what we've seen when we've shared it, go from being stuck at maybe a certain amount per month and breaking through that into the next ceiling um, of income, or maybe they're, 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 you know, in that constant launch phase, like I can't seem to quite get off the ground yet from what we would call a hobby to a business to something revenue generating. And it's this one thing, and it might sound simple when you hear it, but I promise you, when you get clarity on this, when it shifts for you, when it locks in, it will be a game changer in your business and you will, or any overwhelm you feel around getting clients, any of that, procrastination that comes because of a lack of clarity, all of that will shift and you'll know exactly what to do, who you're speaking to, all the rest of it, all of it will fall into place. So this one thing that we really focus on that we see is the difference between those who can attract more clients with ease and those who struggle with getting more clients is this one thing, is understanding your dream client avatar. What does that mean? It means ask yourself, who are you serving? Who are you helping? What is your product? Who, who is that designed to serve? What is your product, your service, maybe your message? Who exactly is that helping? What does that mean? What do I mean by that? Let me give you an example. For, for one of my products, I have a program called the Downline Accelerator, which helps network marketers recruit online. It helps them build their business online. Now that program, that the dream client avatar, the person that I would love to help the most with that program, is very clear for me who I'm helping. So my messaging, the words that I'm saying, everything that follows when I want to go and get more clients is very, very clear. Some people might call this niching down, but I would say this is slightly different because we're getting depth of clarity on a specific type of person, an avatar, our dream avatar, that we are gonna help that we know that we can specifically help that one person better than we can help anybody else. Now, when people start to hear this, a bit of fear of loss comes in because, well, if I, if I focus down, if I niche down, if I, if I focus on this one type of person that I can help, I'm missing out on all the other people that I could be helping. 
And whilst there's truth in that, it's a lack mindset. Because whilst the other people, you're not per se helping with your message because you are focusing down, you are niching down. With that one type of person, remember it's a type of person that you're helping, there's hundreds, thousands, millions of people that you can still serve, that, that you will be able to serve better if your messaging, if your branding, if everything you're doing is super laser targeted to that one type of person. And the beautiful thing is if you think everybody does this, if everybody plays the game in this way, all these other people that you're now not targeting, that you're not niching down on, there will be somebody else serving those people because we all have innately within us somebody that we are called to serve, somebody unique, a unique type of avatar, a unique type of person that we will resonate with more than anybody else based upon our experiences. Like some people re will resonate with me. They'll love it. Other people will be like, nah, I've had enough of this guy with the beard and the hat and everything. Like they won't vibe with it. And that's okay. And understanding, understanding that is a huge part of this process as well because that is other people deciding are you their dream coach, mentor, guide? Are you the person that they want to learn from? There's going to be a yes or a no to that and that's okay. But when you understand are they your dream client as well because it works both ways, that's a very, very powerful position to be in because we see it with our students sometimes. They'll be so eager to help somebody, still eager to take on their first client that it won't be quite the right match. And yes, obviously they'll still help them to the best of their ability. However, I have a saying and I implore this upon all of our students to really remember is that the, the, the thing that's worse than no clients is the wrong client. Not only for you, but for them. Because if we're doing this from a place of re we really want to help the client to the best of our ability, if we really want to get the best results for them, we have to make sure that there is that alignment, that we are the right fit for each other. And just taking on anybody and everybody, obviously we're not making sure that that criteria is really being checked. So understanding your dream client is huge in this process of attracting more clients into your life, into your business, creating more revenue and more impact, as we say. Now, how do you actually go through this process of establishing who is your dream client? It's actually really, really simple. People overcomplicate it. They have all these methodologies and things that you can do. And, you know, people can make a, a mountain out of a molehill. They can make it far more complicated than it needs to be. And whilst complexity sometimes is necessary, I'm personally a fan, and maybe you'll like this as well, I don't know, of keeping things simple. The simple things tend to scale more as well, and I'm a big fan of scaling. Once you've found what works, being able to scale that and take it to the next level and the next level and the next level. Simplicity always scales, complexity crumbles. Now, the, 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 the methodology that, that, that we use, that we teach to our students in terms of how to identify your dream avatar is this is if you imagine if you were going into a bar or a coffee shop, whichever takes your fancy, wherever your dream client might be. Imagine you sit down, you order your drink, whatever it is, and there's a chair next to you, an empty chair next to you, and in between is a table, a coffee table or the bar or whatever it is, right? We'll use coffee as, as an example because that's kind of my vibe, right? So I'm in the coffee shop, I've sat down, I've got my coffee, there's a little table next to me, little coffee table, and then there's an empty chair next. Now, in through the coffee shop door, in through the entrance, walks my dream client. The person that I know I can help them no matter what. I know that they are exactly the person that I am called to help right now on my journey, wherever I'm at in the journey. I know they're beautifully matched for me to be able to help them to get to where they wanna be right now on their journey, right? that person walks through the door. Now, some of you might start to be already visualizing that. You might have an idea of what that looks like. Other people, maybe you, you, you don't quite see it yet. It's just a silhouette, right? Whatever, there's no right nor wrong. But you see somebody walking through the door. The next thing is to go deeper. What do they look like? Are they a man? Are they a woman? Do they have long hair? Do they have short hair? Do they have blonde hair? Do they have brown hair? What do they have? Do they wear glasses? Do they not? What kind of clothes are they wearing? You want to get depth of clarity on absolutely every quality about them. Not only their appearance, maybe the way they walk. Are they shy? Are they confident? Are they outgoing? Are they introverted? Where are they at? Do they have the money that they want to be able to buy the thing that they want at the counter? Or are they a little bit strapped for cash right now? Every little detail you want to go through and you want to write this down so that you can really understand your dream client. And then you want to think about this one thing. What is the biggest problem that they're facing right now? And can you help them solve it? 
the answer to that is yes. For me, example, helping network marketers recruit online, can I help them solve that problem? Is that their biggest problem right now? They're struggling to recruit in the network marketing business? Then yes, great. Now I know I have my dream avatar. So if you think through this process, even sit them down, have a conversation with them, find out what are they struggling with right now? What are their pain points? What are their dreams? What are their hopes? What are their desires? Go through this whole process of them walking through the door, coming through, everything they'll be thinking, everything they'll be saying, everything they'll be going through, even to sitting down having a full-blown conversation with them about their hopes, their dreams, and their desires, and see if you can fit that, that, that story. See if you can help them go from where they are now to where they want to be. And the depth of clarity, the more clarity you get on this person who's walking into the coffee shop, coming and sitting down next to you and having a conversation, the more clarity you have on this person, the easier it will be for you to think about, well, what should I post today to attract the right client? What should I say on my stories? What should I say on my sales calls? What should I say on my landing pages, in my emails? All of that will go away because all you have to do is remember this person sat down to you in the coffee shop and just have that conversation with them and help them get from where they are now to where they wanna be. And ultimately, it's really that simple. They should be your best friend. <laughs> Even give them a name. I often call mine Sylvia. It's a long standing joke from a program we used to run a few years ago. Um, but my ideal client, they're called Sylvia. It's interchangeable for men and women, but I always call them Sylvia. And I write all of this down in my notebook and I'm writing, 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 getting that depth of clarity because I know that it helps me serve them best because I know exactly who I'm speaking to. So I hope that that helps you in identifying your dream clients so that you can go out there and get more clients for your business and ultimately help more people. If you found this valuable, please do drop us a comment below and let us know. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and that notification button extra so you don't miss out on any more of these videos that we're, we're putting out here on the Wealth Yogi channel for you. And until the very next video, stay blessed my friends. Yeah, 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 yeah.